Hello again, boys and girls, out there in Terra Land. <laughs> we're gonna do a, we're do another um, uh, reading here. That's what we're doing here today. We're gonna do a reading, and um, every now and then I think it's good to throw one out there. That uh, I've done a few others here, and um, people like it. So I'm going to do a I'm going to do a three card, couple of three card spreads, because that's um, an easy one to to show how things are done, and I'm going to do a Celtic cross too, and I'm going to be using the uh, Aquarian deck. It's a good deck. I think it's from the from the um, 80s, late 80s I think. I'd also like to mention something else here. This is um, a book that came out in 1989, I think. It's called Exploring the Tarot by Carol Chapiksky. And I, I, I wanted to bring this book up because I, I don't know if it's in print. I think it's still in print. And um, you could check it out on Amazon. Exploring the Tarot by Carl Japicki. The reason I wanted to bring that up is because uh, I just, when I started reading professionally, that, that came out in 89, I probably bought it in 89. <clears throat> I started reading professionally in 93, 92 I think. And um, I was teaching then too, teaching the Tarot at the same time. And this book here is the one who got me to realize that that um, you can change the Celtic cross to something more outside of just traditional meanings in those positions. This guy showed me that in that book. Now his Celtic cross in that book and mine <laughs> are not this, they're not anywhere close to each other. But his is good. I'm just I'm just saying that just like yours over time, once you realize you can change things in there, if you're reading my books or if you read this book, you'll probably change them into something that works better for you too over time. It might happen. You know, so if it does, that's 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 works out great. But he's the one who um, has some real good ideas for me. And uh, I remember in my classes telling people back then to buy this book. <clears throat> and he used the Aquarium deck, which is a good deck. So I thought I would, seeing I would be doing the, using the Aquarium for this set of readings, I saw, thought of that book and I thought I'm going to just bring that up to you. He also has conversations with his cards, a few of his cards in here too. They talk with them, and that's where I got the idea of having conversations in my books. Those, the last chapter of both of my books, Genius of the Tarot, A Guide to Divination with the Tarot, or with the Cards, and The Essential Tarot, Unlocking the Mystery, both of them, the last chapter of the book is just conversations with the major arcana. And um, I got that idea from Carl Chapiksky's book, Exploring the Tarot. I liked it. So, anyway, we're going to be doing a few card spreads here in this in this in this uh, video. The only one I really like to really I really like to focus on is the is the cross, the Celtic cross, because if I did card spreads on all sorts of other readings, it, it doesn't help as much as seeing card spreads on one particular type of reading, and that's the only reading I really use professionally is the cross. And the way I have it set up, you can answer any question asked of you with it. At least I have in 25 years reading professionally. There hasn't been a question I couldn't answer yet. Um, and the three card spread is just a good one to learn too because it shows you how to connect the cards together to come up with some type of a idea into what you're, as far as an answer and what you're looking for. So. We'll get started. 
Okay, here we are. This is going to be a three card spread. The questions that we're going to be looking into here is just one. The question I want to do with all my readings is going to be just how are we going to accomplish a goal that we're trying to accomplish. This covers everything um, in a gen pretty generic way, but it also, people can identify with it if they have a specific goal that they're trying to accomplish. Maybe this might give them some ideas. So how, how are we going to accomplish the goal we're trying to accomplish? And this is going to be a three card. And um, again, the Aquarian is a, is a good deck. It's been around for a while. And that's what I'll be using here, the Aquarian deck. So, how are we going to accomplish the goal we want to accomplish? Knowledge, new beginnings, and a new direction. Direction we're not too sure about yet. 18, moon card, year 2018 could be significant there. I got the king of swords here. We got, we, we could go past, present, and future if you want. That's a basic three card. In the past, we've gained a lot of knowledge, which allows us right now to start new situations. We don't know exactly where we're going with the moon card as far as the future, but we know we like the path we're on. That's how I see those three cards representing past, present, and future. If you wanted to go with strengths, <clears throat> weaknesses, and opportunities, <clears throat> excuse me, strengths, weaknesses, and opportunities, you could say my strengths are very knowledgeable about this situation. My weaknesses, seeing this is a new situation, there's still some ground that I haven't covered. And seeing it is new, well, I'm not uh, seasoned with it yet. Opportunities coming. A lot of things that haven't been, haven't been covered yet, haven't been uh, known yet. A lot of opportunities as far as things that haven't been discovered. So it's an exciting time. These opportunities will show themselves the closer we get to them. There's not much light there. So as we move forward with things, keep your eye out for them. They'll be around. Opportunities look good. You could also look at the moon saying opportunities coming within the next month. Or you could look at the year 2018 and the moon card being 18 as far as opportunities still coming this year, which is, this is November right now, so um, if you're looking at this video as soon as it comes out, now two years from now, if this video is still out, this won't make any sense with that. So we wouldn't do that with that. But looking at it as new paths, opportunities of new situations, new beginnings of things you, didn't, you weren't on before are going to come around. Take advantage of those, of those new directions on places you haven't been before, on traveled territory yet. They'll be there. Three more cards. Devil. <laughs> Ten of Swords. And the Knight of Pentacles. All right, Devil, as far as strengths, we have the ability to, to stop um, procrastination, we have the ability to see through lies and um, denial and um, false truths here. We can see through those things when they're around us. We know what's real and what isn't. This is something we, ca we got to hold on. That's a good card to see as far as strengths. Weaknesses. We have a hard time completing things. Uh, we, oh, we start them maybe, we, um, we look into them and maybe just never get them done totally completed. That's something we need to focus on, making sure whatever we start, we take it to the finish and we complete it. Opportunities, we see a lot of opportunities to take initiative. If we, if we do take initiative, we see opportunities to take action. So there's opportunities for those initiatives to be there. If you see opportunities where you can do and to be in charge of something with this, take the bull by the horns and go with it, grab them because those opportunities could be paying off for you as far as your, um, as far as your um, 
go goes. So you see truths. You, you know what's real and what isn't. Your weaknesses is you don't complete things. Or if you don't, if you if you think that that is a, is not a, is a weakness, remember that that's something you want to do. Is you want to make sure that whatever you're starting, you complete it. Instead of start one avenue or one aspect of your situation, you start but don't finish, and then you go into another aspect of your situation. Make sure you put one fire out before you look into the other one. Take an initiative when those opportunities arise. It's going to be a big opportunity for you to really make a difference and um, have people notice or more success towards your goal. Attainment, creativity, and choices. Nine of Wands, Three of Wands, Lover's Card. As far as opportunities go, you have, or sorry, strengths. You have the strength, you have the ability to attain things if you really want them. Look, this is out of, this isn't in anybody else's control where you have to hope that their decisions are going in your favor. You have the ability to do this on your own without other people getting involved with it. Your weaknesses, it's hard for you to create new ideas or new situations, uh, stir things up to get things moving um, in new directions. So you can't attain what you're looking for, but what you have to watch for is the um, being stagnant on trying new ideas out. If something's not working in one direction, go in another direction. Get creative with that. That could be a weakness. We all get stuck in ruts, and um, don't get stuck in that. Get creative with things. Opportunities to come. Seeing you have the, the ability to make choices, you have the ability to put this in, in, your, in your grasp of whatever this is, the lover's card shows choices are coming. These choices will be yours to make. Seek out new directions in your weaknesses. Get innovative. Get, try something that's, if something, if you seem like you're going up against a brick wall somewhere, try a new strategy. That's your weaknesses here. Sometimes going in a new direction opens something else up. You do that, I do see opportunities to make choices that you will be the one in charge of making. So a couple examples of the three card spread using the Aquarian deck. We didn't go into um, past, present, and future. I'll do that one too here with, these, with this right here with these th last three cards. In the past, I've, I've gained a lot in the past here. In the present, I'm still looking to gain more. In the future, I do see myself being able to make choices if you want to do that. So past, present, and future. Again, I like strengths, weaknesses, and opportunities more than past, present, and future. So, some examples of the three card. And um, now we're going to do a, um, a Celtic cross. Okay. I'm set up to do the Celtic cross here. Had to adjust the camera a little bit. <clears throat> and again, this is going to be how do we achieve the goal we're looking to achieve? So it pretty much takes in anybody's type of question. And usually the way I'll do it with a client is I'll have them cut the cards into three packs. I'll tell them cut the cards into three packs. And I'll go like this so they know what I'm talking about. And they'll go like this. And I turn over the top card of each pack and decide which top card would be the most appropriate to their question. How do we accomplish what we're trying to accomplish? Any one of the cards usually works, but I'd like to, I like the Eight of Pentacles here for advancement on moving forward. So that's what we'll start with. These we put, a, put aside out of play, and we'll go with the Eight of, Sword, or Eight, of, Eight of Pentacles for position number one. Position number two, the Emperor card. 
advancing forward to manifest ideas into realities. Seven of Pentacles, position three. And I see that as um, uh, the ability to, well, we have, we have the confidence to move forward with things. So we have that going for us. A time of evaluation, looking at it and believing what we're doing. That's what we're trying to go through right now. Queen of, Queen of Cups here shows um, a time of being patient with things. We have a, and get a good understanding of what it is we're trying to accomplish. We're evaluating things, but we still need a clearer understanding of what we're trying to accomplish. So we're still looking. An asset what you have going for you is the wheel card, wheel of fortune. You have the ability to improve the situation more than it is right now. Opportunities coming with the justice card. You'll see the real truth of things as you move forward within the next three months. What you have going for you as far as your perception of your question, again, with the confidence you have evaluating things and wanting a clearer understanding of things, you seek to have a stronger position in this situation. Time is right right now with the death card to move forward with this. Even though you don't have a clear understanding of this, this time, as far as moving forward, looks at it as a long range. First, you just need to get things cleared up as far as a clear understanding of what it is you're doing. Finding all the answers, seeing things with a clearer, more clarity. But the time is right as far as the long, the big picture goes to make big changes. This is a big decision. This is a big endeavor, whatever it is you're trying to do, especially if that's what that, if, if that could pertain to that, that card there too as well. Another major here with the world card. The world card as far as uh, the purpose of this and the world card as far as the purpose looks pretty good. As I see, you're seeing, you have, see, uh, looking at things in the big picture of what you're trying to attain with this question, this is a good card to look at and say, okay, is this really what I'm, what I want? Looking at this goal in the big picture. A good way to look at your question is to always look at it as, look at it from the, from the end going back to where you are now. Look at the end result and visualize it already there and saying, okay, is this what I want? Looking at things in the big picture and seeing if this is really, is this really going to get me what I want in the big picture? So questioning that could fine tune things as far as the clarity what you're looking for here to make this major move. Finally, ten card, the tenth position, we have the Eight of Wands, starting with an Eight of Pentacles, going to the Eight of Wands, Eights, completion, advancing forward, not completion, advancement to the Eight here, advancing forward. This shows me that you, you will see progress if you look at things in the big picture. Get more clarity before you, before you take any real action. Look at this action as something, this is a large project, or this is a big thing I'm trying to do, and I want to take my time, but I am making big changes in when the time is right to, make the, to, to take action. Having a strong position on your on your question, more knowledge about it, a better a better stronghold or a better grasp of what it is you're trying to accomplish is good for you to do. And what you have going for you here in the asset is you can move forward with this with the wheel card wheels of evolvement. So, there's room to move here. And you're going to find a lot more truth, more clarity in what it is you're looking for as you proceed forward, which is going to help you with this. So as you move forward with things in the next three months, this will become a lot clearer. 
which allows this major change to happen. Keep in mind, looking at the big picture of things, is this really what you want, or fine-tuning it a little bit. Visualize the end result, and is this what you want? And if it isn't, seem to be going to exactly that, find ways to move this around to where it is that way. And you will advance forward just like you want it to. Celtic Cross. That's one example. <clears throat> okay, we'll do another one. I said there'll be more, and <laughs> I guess I'm right, there, there's more. We'll do one more. See, I got the camera set up like this already. I figure I'd put two on here. And, um,. We'll take it from there. So, another Celtic cross. Three packs. Turn over the top card. Star, three of swords, two of swords. Moving forward, let's go with a good direction with the star card. direction and that's position number one direction on stabilizing something securing something structuring something that's that's predictable dependable something we can count on right now what we're doing right now is trying to advance forward or find ways to advance forward with this with the eight of swords Something might be restricting us. We're trying to find ways to free that up so we can start a new path with the Page of Cups. If you wanted to look at um, the suit, you could say new for moving forward with something from the heart. Otherwise, it's just a straight moving forward, move, a new path in some situation, new direction. What you have going for you is you have the ability to make changes. You can't stir things up. It's, not, it's, it's in your control. If you look for ways to do it, you'll find ways to do it. Making these changes. New opportunities will be there. Opportunities for these new beginnings to happen. Right now you got, you're at a time where you're trying to overcome obstacles and taking on these challenges that are stopping you to make this happen. There might be blockage. And you're trying to find ways to overcome that. The hangman. Reversal. Time to might, it might be time to rearrange the furniture on the way things are set up right now. If you're feeling you're being blocked in some way to make this happen, to make this new path happen, you know you'd like to make the changes. You know the opportunity could be there. If you feel like you're being blocked in some way, Try reversing things. Try to take something and reverse it. Rearrange it in a different way than what's there right now. What you want is the capability to make this happen in ways that never have been there before. Real progress, tangible progress, right before your eyes. This is a, a great accomplishment. So this is something very significant to you. Two of Wands, a choice. As you move forward here and you rearrange things and you change things, you've got to free up these bonds, restrictions that are stopping you from progressing forward on this endeavor of yours. You'll see opportunities happen with that. And when those opportunities happen, I see you making choices from the heart sincere choices or I see choices offers being made to you coming from the heart as sincere Delta Cross I hope you like this and keep throwing cards